following video demonstrates the phenomenon known as vortex shedding. When a fluid flows around a cylindrical cross section, there exists a critical velocity where vortices will begin to form on the leeward side. These vortices consist of a series of alternating low pressure zones which cause the cylindrical structure to vibrate. It is important to note that this vibration will occur perpendicular to the direction of the fluid flow. Tall structures such as stacks and chimneys can become quite sensitive to the effects of vortex shedding. Other types of structures are also prone to vortex shedding, as was the case with the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, which fell only four months after opening. The stack you are viewing is 90 meters tall, has a diameter of 4.5 meters, and a critical wind speed of approximately 15 meters per second. Shortly after installation, this stack began to vibrate. Even though there is a cage ladder on the side, it provided little assistance in disrupting vortices. Large movements were also visible at the base of the stack. The base plate began to lift off the foundation and the foundation began to show signs of rotation and cracking. Soon the anchor bolts began to loosen and were required to be retorqued. Fortunately, this stack had an expansion joint at the base, which allowed it to accommodate some movement. Here is another stack, videoed at night. You can see the lights on top of the stack vibrating. The stack is relatively small in diameter and has a cage ladder along the side. When stacks are located close to each other, such as these, often interference effects can become an issue. Here the stacks are joined at the middle, but because they are so close, they still achieved resonance. Helical strakes have traditionally been used to solve vortex shedding issues. However, they come at a significant price. From the 90 meter stack presented earlier, the cost would increase approximately 40% if strakes were added. This increase is a result of the additional wind drag that is seen when strikes are added, which causes the support structure and foundation to be increased in size. The more economical solution is to use a vibration damper, such as the liquid damper shown here. In this case, the liquid damper also serves as the top platform for the stack and has the added benefit of having minimal impact on the structure itself. Here is a liquid damper with no fluid sitting on a spring base. The damper is excited and continues to vibrate with little or no attenuation. Now the same damper is filled with liquid and again forced to vibrate. As you can see the attenuation occurs quickly. Another type of damper is a tuned mass damper which uses a mass and springs to provide the damping rather than liquid. Both liquid and mass dampers offer distinct advantages which must be carefully weighed to determine which is best on a given stack. Please contact Mecca for a free evaluation of your stack to determine if strikes or vibration damper is more economical. We can also be of assistance for vortex shedding issues on other types of structures. Thank you.